Hi guys, so as promised, I said when I'm gonna be back from India, I'm gonna film the first video for my um, Getting Rid of Bad Habits series. So this one is going to be how to get motivated, how to start working out when you are slacking, because I do get lazy. You know, instead of working out, I'll just watch series or YouTube videos and eat chocolate. But I thought I'm gonna kick ass to laziness and I'm gonna start working out. So I've been working out for, I don't know, maybe a month or so. And um, th in this video, I'm gonna show you what I got, like what clothing items I got to help me motivate myself. Because I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, if... I have nice workout gear, it just pushes me to work out. Like I cannot look at my nice sneakers and like let them sit in the corner. It's like, it's a motivation for me when I know I have like a nice t-shirt, comfy leggings, um, good sneakers, workout ball. It's like, I wanna do it, I wanna work out. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So it's gonna be like a mini haul video and then stay tuned till the end of the video. This is where I'm gonna show you what exercises I do. They're really simple and easy to do because you know, I'm, I'm no expert in working out. Um, I've been going to gym, I've been doing Pilates, yoga, Zumba for years. So these are like the exercises that I remember from the times that I was going to the gym. I just do it at the comfort of my own home. So now let's jump into the haul. So the first thing I got is a water bottle. This is from Tiger and I got quite a few items from Tiger actually. What caught my attention was the color. I love this aqua blue color. It's so beautiful and it actually has this really wide opening so you can put lemon, cucumber in it and you can have your like really tasty water in it and it's also cool that it has this little hook so you can just carry it to the gym or just anywhere you want to carry it this one was four euros then i got these weights you basically just do like this and then you wrap it around your ankle and you stick this bit here i think these are one kilo each i chose this magenta color again to I don't know, bring some positive energy. So you can use this either on your ankles or on your wrists as well, if you're working out your arms. Then another thing, this is the biggest thing I got. So it's this yoga ball and would you look at this color? I think it's absolutely amazing. It's the most beautiful peachy pink color and uh, you can do lots of different exercises with a ball and um, it's also great for just sitting on it's really good for your back i can't remember how much it was maybe 10 euros or even five actually and i also got a yoga mat in a very similar color this one is actually from nike or nike whatever you want to call it and um tiger has really nice ones but they're 20 euros and i was like 20 euros for a tiger yoga mat maybe not and this one was on sale at nike and I grabbed the last one and I love it because it has this soft pink color on the inside and then this kind of, kind of peachy pink on the outside. And it's the coolest yoga mat. I've been using it loads and it was only 15 euros. Another bag from Nike. We say it Nike and a lot of Europeans do. I know Americans say Nike because that's the correct way of saying it, but we're just used to saying Nike. So I got a pair of sneakers. And I actually never realized the importance of good workout shoes. Um, they're really, really important because they give you lots of support. So this is the ones that I chose and I absolutely love them. They're Nike Zoom trainers. And I love that they're black, but they still have that pop of color. They match my ball, my yoga mat. And they're the style that have these cushions on the sole that make it feel like you're bouncing when you walk. It's like walking on a cloud. They're so comfortable. I just can't get over it how comfy they are. Um, they don't come with these things inside. They're like suede stickers with cushion because they're a little bit big on me. So I put these in and they're perfect. I just love, love, love these sneakers. And when you're doing squats, they give you so much support. I used to do my squats barefoot. It makes such a difference having workout shoes on when you're squatting. They just give you so much balance and support and it's just amazing. So I love my new sneakers. These were 60% off at Nike. So can't get any better, right? And then the last two workout items are both from Zara. I got this t-shirt in a peachy pink color well you can see the theme i'm going for i actually wanted to go for this theme like minty and baby blue color but i somehow i ended up going for everything 
peachy and pink. It's like the softest cotton t-shirt and I got it in the Zara sale for 3 euros 99 cents and I just thought it's a really nice top for working out and I had no idea Zara did workout wear but they have some amazing workout leggings so make sure you're quick because the sales are coming to an end and I'm, I, I'm pretty sure they still have these. They have a few different workout pants. These were only 10 euros. Nike on sale um, is like 30 euros. And when I saw these at Zara, I was like, of course I'm having them. So they're in this kind of like marl gray color, which I really like. And they're long and they have these like black bits at the ends. And they're so comfortable. They look very flattering and they're just amazing. So guys, that's everything I got to uh, motivate me to work out and now I just want to do it. Just do it as Nike says. Okay, so now let's jump into the exercise part. Here I'm showing that your shoulders should be in line with your feet. And when you squat, make sure that your knees are 90% angle. I see mine aren't perfect here, but oh well. So when you squat, it's better if you do the squats really slowly. That's when your butt and your thighs work the best. And yeah, I do about a hundred of them. Depends on my mood, really. And here I'm gonna show you how I use my ankle weights. So these are such a nice thing to have. You just wrap them around your ankle. And this is how I put them on. And this is another of my favorite exercises. So of course you can do this exercise without any ankle weights. And basically you just kick your feet in the air but make sure that your feet are flat and uh, it works your butt really well and also your thighs so it's one of my favorites because it's it's quite easy to do and I do about 20 with each leg and then I repeat it three times Okay, this is another exercise I do with my ankle weights. This one is really difficult for me because I have no abs whatsoever, so my torso is shaking when I do this. But yeah, I tried to do it about like, I don't know, 40 times or so. And another great exercise for legs is bicycle. Of course, it's like really easy, but it helps having some weights on your ankles. La 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 la. Okay, now I think I'm gonna show another one. Yep, this is. It looks really easy. It's just like kicking air <laughs> with your feet, but it's not that easy. It really works your thighs, especially upper thighs. So it's a great exercise for your legs. Another one I like to do is the side squats. It's just like regular squats. You're just basically stepping. To the side and Victoria's Secret angels do these all the time so they're great for your legs and also don't forget that your knees should be 90% angle so I do about I don't know like 20 of these uh, and I repeat it uh, three times and then these are the killer I hate them but do them if you want nice legs Oh, hi Louis. Decided to join me. <laughs> Such a cutie. And then I grab my ball. I'm sorry, that sounded really weird. Um, and yeah, I just do these ones. You can do them without any ball. It's also an amazing exercise for your abs, which I clearly don't have. And also for your legs. It really works your thighs. Another great one for the butt. This is my third favorite probably it's so easy and it's so effective you just lay down and lift your butt and squeeze your butt when you lift it so it's gonna really um, shape your butt and because I've been slacking with exercising my butt got really flat so now I'm trying to get it round and in a nice shape again so that's why I'm doing lots of squats um, this one is great for abs and it's also really simple so you just have um, this ball between your legs make sure you hold it really nicely so at the same time it works your inner thighs and I just do about 20 and repeat three times this is a great exercise for your 
arms if you want to have nice and slender arms you just hold your ball and do like this it's like pulsing and another one is you put it have the ball above your head and do these pulses again then I grab my dumbbells and I do the classic arm exercise and you can do as many as you want as many as you can do but I do about like 50 let's say I, I don't really know it depends on my mood but I do about 50 of each um, this is a great one as well keep your uh, arms close to your head in a 90 degree angle and lift your dumbbells and then after exercising I like to do some yoga exercises just to stretch my body so this is mountain and um, yeah it's just for stretching and for relaxing as well this is what I remember from my yoga classes love this position it really stretches your backbone snake and then I do some cat exercises that are great for your back as well but don't forget to breathe um, inhale when your head is up and exhale when your back is curved then I like to stretch my sides And of course some more breathing inhaling and exhaling taking really deep breaths to relax the body so these are my steps for feeling really zen and happy I hope you guys try these at home and don't forget to work out bye